Hello and welcome to yet another update on my seedlings. It has been about seven and a half weeks since I sowed this one. So as you can see, there's a plane. I'm waiting for it to pass because it's so noisy. Hurry! Every time, every single time. Okay, I think we're good. Anyway, what I was about to say is that I've got two mini greenhouses in front of me. The one on my right, your left, this is the greenhouse which is based on me just harvesting seeds from existing echeveras, from existing blooms. While on this side, my left side, your right side, these are the blooms, no, these are the flowers, the echeveria flowers that I hand pollinated. And I think it has only been about a week and a half less than two weeks since I sowed them here except maybe for one plant I've got this plant which I haven't harvested yet because at the time that I sowed the other seeds the flowers weren't too dry yet uh, it was really sticky it was still quite wet and I don't think the seeds have formed already it was still too young so I'm going to uh, pick out one of the flowers here one of the lowest flowers and see if how the seeds are going and if uh, it looks like there has there are viable seeds now then I'll be harvesting all of them and plant them in here before we do this let's have a look at this planter right here just getting it out of the way and there seems to be an exciting development here if I look really closely It seems like there's at least one, well I only see one, but one of them have developed a second set of, uh, of leaves. Yeah, I think leaves was the word I was looking for. But what else can it be? So if you remember from the previous update, they all had, uh, the, the sprouts each had uh, a pair of leaves. And I said that the next frontier is to wait for them to push out a third or fourth leaf. And it looks like I can see that one of them have already grown a second pair of leaves. And I'm going to take a video using this macro setup here. See if I can do it. From looking at them with this macro lens, I can see that at least three of the sprouts have uh, started growing a second pair of leaves. We're getting there. I hope they continue growing, especially now that we're heading to summer. I tried modifying my setup a bit as per a suggestion from Alex. Well, Alex's suggestion was to use the baggy method next time. What I did instead was to add more water. I think it's all dry now, but I added more water underneath and let it seep everything. Just made sure that the whole thing is a bit soaked again. And I made sure to close the flaps. So both flaps on the cover are closed. And I think... Well, this is just my conjecture, but I think it's safe to do so now because what I do anyway is I leave them closed. I leave it airtight for a few days, then maybe for a day or two, I'll open a flap or two just to let some of the humidity escape. And I do that just to make sure that it does not get too humid or else I risk getting some rot due to fungus. And that's the last thing that I would want to happen because these seedlings are still too young and they're too fragile, so no fungus please. And I haven't added any antifungals because, I don't know, it's mainly me being lazy because I I'd have to uh, prepare the dosage, make it uh, diluted, watered down, and I can't be bothered to do that. But in any case, what I did, I overwatered them a few days ago or last week and let them soak up all of the water. I think that I think the substrate is still wet, yeah, it still is, and I'm letting them uh, stay on the wet soil for maybe a few more days before I open the vent again and let it dry up a little, then I'll, go, I'll be repeating the whole thing again once they get too dry, well not too dry, once it gets dry enough, because compared, unlike uh, more mature specimens, seedlings require a lot of moisture. 
but of course with moisture there comes the risk of algae and a bunch of other fungus related stuff in fact i can see some algae growing here let me take a video just to show you what i mean yeah there's a little bit of green there and another thing that i've been noticing is that ever since i soaked the whole planter the whole greenhouse it looks like other cells are starting to sprout well i I haven't checked all of them one by one, so I'm going to do so now. I need to turn back my cap so I can go closer. I can see more sprouts on other cells. I see more on A1, which is from my Romeo. There's one here. There's more on B1. This is also elegance. They're just sprouting now. And it seems like it's just it, just rows, columns A and B. So it seems like apart from the algae growing on some of the cells, not much else have grown. So overall, I think this is a moderate success, an average. But I'll take it back to the front. And on this side of the planter now, you just cover up this one. This is the planter consisting of, this is the planter where I sowed the seeds that I used from my hand pollination demo. And from visual inspection, let me see if there's anything that sprouted. I can see some seedlings right here. I'm not sure if this is an echeveria. This one looks rather large compared to the other, so this might be just be some sort of weed or grass. But let me show you. <clears throat> so this first one are the Echeveria seedlings. They are so tiny, but they are there definitely know that these are Echeveria and then there's this other one it looks so it looks so big compared to the others let me just get a vantage point that's more well lit there it looks a lot larger compared to the other Echeverias that I showed you just now I'm using the same magnification for all of these close-up shots and it appears that this one might be grass I don't know I guess we'll have to wait for it to grow and see what happens and apart from that it's only been about a week and a half or less than two weeks since I started watering this so I think I would like to think that this ones are early sprouts and let me just look up this is cell A4 and in cell A4 I did a I wonder which ah, let me show you in cell A4 I did a hybrid between this Agavoides right here and this Bella Rouge so in this case this was the seed parent, which means that the, uh, I used the flowers of this one. I took the pollen from here and applied it to this flower. So I wonder what the look they would end up looking. It might look like an agavoides, a fat plant with markings on the tips like the Bella Rouge. So this would be interesting. So there has been no other sprouts yet. And I'd like to think that A1, uh, sorry, A4, was an early sprout because I think the fastest that I had anything sprout on this side was around the same time less than two weeks so I think this is just right I'll have to wait though for the for the others to catch up and see if there are more there are other successful um, germinations to happen this is going to be an exciting next few weeks the start of my own hybrids and before we end this update I'll have you know that I need to sow the seeds now or do I? I have to check first. 
So I'm looking at the, I'm picking up the lowest flower and see if it is dry now. It seems to be dry. The question is, are the seeds viable? Are the seeds ready? And another plane. Yeah, it looks like the seeds are ready. So I'm going to end this episode saying that I'm going to sow seeds of my Bella Rouge. And based on my notes, I pollinated the Bella Rouge with a Romeo. Let me go grab it. So basically, the seeds that you see on this Bella Rouge have been pollinated by flowers from this Romeo plant right here. So another Agavoides and Bella Rouge hybrid. I hope this is successful because it's going to be quite interesting to see what ends up, what happens when you have a cross between these two. If I was allowed to speculate, I think the resulting hybrid, if successful, would be something with lots of markings on the leaf edges. Because as you know, both the Bella Rouge and the Romeo have these red markings, as you can see on the tips. That's one common trait among these two. I'm half expecting for the result to be more agavoides like in shape but i won't be surprised if it takes on the form the bella rouge but yeah let's hope for the best and i'll see you in the next update bye